hello everyone in this video we're gonna um, plant seed so how it uh, gonna be in my case I have a pouch and uh, I need to plant seed when in uh, some time of my animation like this so I have an animation that looks like this and I've just added notify here I've added it earlier you can add it pre uh, click here add notify and create new notify or if you have a few animations of uh, sewing for example uh, then you will and uh, created a notify for one of them you will have a notify in this list so I created this notify right here so in this place um, sewing will happen so let's open animation blueprint and uh, I will comment select notifies and add the notify handler here so let's call a name notify so so this event will be called when uh, so event in this animation will be called so let's get character from animation blueprint get a pouch component and call some function but first we need to create some function so let's create function called so just so and we will call this function here so like this and now in pouch component on so what we're gonna do we're gonna plant this actor so what we're gonna do we're gonna validate placement one more time and if it is valid we gonna plant it we're gonna get plant actor and now it is let let me open plant actor dp plant parent this is our class and uh, now it is in previewing mode we need to be able to make it in base box so let's call some function called plant and plant function will get base materials and for each of them we will get static mesh set material mat set component material list we will set a component material list like this and set in base materials also we're setting this preview false and set in previous valid to true by so we are resetting them to default values and now in plant we're getting plant vector and calling plant if true we are planting and we need to get it here no and we need to null, null it here so the plant we don't need it to be here so that when we will move in and making trace it will not be moved anymore so let's just set it to nothing here it is now uh, let me move how is it let me add a garden dp garden place here and let's select plant collect pouch select seed and now if I click here and so happens nothing happens but here here it is it's planted and I can select a new one and it is planted and I can select a new one and it's planted and also as we can see they are not uh, they can be planted one on, on the other and it's problem of validation that happens because in dp plant parent we have two small collision here let's click increase it a little bit like this also 
you may want to do just an attack mentally without any animation and in this case in place where your attack you call function solve just on some attack function mm, so now we can plant a seed but it looks not like a seed at first also after sowing something, I don't want to select plant one more time. I want a new template to appear and move it. So let's go to power component in here where I am validating placement, planting current plant. I need to call to do the same. I need to spawn this actor again. Or not. Here I will not just. I will not do this. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create actor or spawn actor from class on true. Class will be the same as plant actor class. Get class. So I will spawn the same actor. Get actor transform on the same location. And that's all. I will spawn it and this plant will still be with me and I don't need this function. So let's check it again. Tomato seeds, for example, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. And uh, what we can see is uh, it doesn't look like a real plant, it looks like an already grown tomato and we will do a growing system a little bit later, but now what I'm gonna do, in my case maybe you will not need it, so I uh, adding it to the end of the video. In animation it's not visible for a player when a real plant will happen. So on I am knowing that it will happen in the middle of some like in the middle of animation when so event is called, but for player he doesn't know. Here expect that it will be planned mentally, or we need to show him somehow that uh, planting is happening and it will happen when, uh, for example, so event is called. So I think that I need some progress bar, simple progress bar above plant or above a head of a player that planting is happening and uh, we need to show a progress and in this animation as in, at start of an animation progress will be zero it will increase and at so notify it will progress will be one so the player will understand that at this moment plant will happen so um, let's start let's uh, move to user interface component widgets uh, and create new widgets in seeds i will create a new widget it will be a simple progress bar widget uh, blueprint user widget call it vp layer oh no planting progress bar let's add a size box here Let's make it 100 on 20. Set it desired on screen. And add. Uh, I will already added linear progress bar. Yes, I think that um, I've already added a stamina linear progress bar. You can watch it in uh, a video of creating. Uh, player stats. The last video is about creating a stamina bar, so I'm just adding. I'm not sure if I have it separately. Let me check it. I have a would be a linear progress bar that is round, beautiful, and uh, that's fine. And it will be staying on the hand of a player. So here I'm gonna add a would be linear progress bar. Linear progress bar is okay. Let's let me decrease size box head to ten. Okay, I will make it a variable, 
and let me check which okay it has progress okay what do I need to do is I need to change the progress and uh, colors base color value okay I'm setting these values here oh this is for background color so it has a progress parameter it should have it yes it has no yes it has a progress parameter 0 9 by default it will be okay let me make it 1 by default and in my linear progress bar I will uh, change uh, colors of uh, the progress by itself so let me move it into here and uh, I have an image progress image here I will get it get dynamic material of this image like this and set this to vectors parameters base color and secondary color for this material what are the base color and secondary color you may see in previous videos base color is uh, one of the gradient colors and secondary is second of gradient colors also we'll promote them to variables and call it uh, start color make instance editable start and color so promote variable and color make it instance editable connect it here and let's go to plant progress bar progress one and uh, by default these values are black so let's make start color white for example and then color to black I think that's fine 05, 01 oops 05 1 okay it needs to be the same as uh, size box here by the way okay size box here is 150 on 15 let me change it 150 on 15 so 0, 05 it looks like this okay but I think that I can change uh, height to 10 oops 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 now I will change back color on the base so that in stamina bar it will uh, Mm, still be orange uh, to white nice okay now we need to be able to display this uh, plant in progress bar also let's make a variable called progress make it float make it instance editable And by default, progress is zero. And by default, it is zero. And that's all for VB plant in progress bar. Now, when we're solving, we need to add this progress bar somewhere above the player, I think, or maybe above a plant. I don't know. That depends on you. I think that by default, I will add it above a player. So uh, let's open um, BP main character in my case here he is and this widget will appear here so I will uh, so I will I will edit I will add some location I will add an arrow I didn't want a player widget to be complicated so I will add a logic of adding a widget will be in uh, in my pouch component so here is an arrow and I will add a widget right here like this like this okay fine arrow and let's call it uh, mm -mm -mm seeding widget 
no need to create an arrow by the way no no matter whether it's zero or it's blip a widget okay let's add a widget call it c plant progress widget plant progress widget and select a widget uh, widget class here it will be wb planting planting progress bar and here it is it's very big so draw size will be 150 on 10 and uh, what we need we need to close desired size no it means let's make it cylinder it, it means okay we don't need a cylinder we need a plane we need it to be in a screen space so it's not visible here right now but uh, what it means it means that we will always see it on our screen whether camera is rotated so doesn't matter how camera is rotated we're always seeing this widget i don't know if it is fine if it is a good solution also i don't like that my colors broken from my stamina bar i will fix it a little bit later okay progress bar is fine let's decrease its size a little bit so it will be not 150 but uh, 70 on 10 I'll move it a little bit to the right. Okay, now in pouch component, we need to update progress when we're starting to sew. So we need to know when a sew started. Uh, or, or we will start showing this progress bar when we equipped a pouch. So we have equipped a pouch and we need to get a character. Get plant plant widget get plant progress widget and set set hidden in game to unhidden and we're doing the same on the equip and here we are making it hidden and let's open main character and set it hidden in game by default like this okay and uh, let's open back pouch component now we need to know progress from somewhere let's add a new function called fun update with plant planting progress what it will do it will get character also an input of a function would be progress progress of type float we're getting a character get plant widget and set progress no um, I don't didn't add a variable progress I've added it progress oh yes we don't know what the class of this widget so we need to cast it we need to cast to VB uh, to plant no we need to get a widget from here first all right get widget cast to we be planting progress bar like this and only after that we're setting a progress and the progress will be this progress get progress no get progress like this okay and what do we need to do we need to call this function also on every equip we equipped show and we need to uh, update this planting progress and make it zero and on the equip we also resetting it to zero so how can we get this progress let's open an animation for sewing and let's create a curve let's uncurves 
a turf create turf control um, soul progress double click on it and uh, let's add some keys so I'm mm, clicked with the middle bo button here and I have a key or you can right click here and here you will have add key so select it and at zero it is zero and let's find out where it will is gonna be not zero at uh, zero sixty six so let's add new key and it will be one at zero dot sixty six so here is how it looks like and um what happened okay and that's how it will look like so now we need to get the va value of this curve so let's navigate to animation blueprint and here on animation update and event blueprint update animation we can get curve value now let's create a new function we call it update planting progress we can call it get curve value here curve name is this name so progress so progress and what we're gonna do we're gonna get character uh, like this get character get pouch component and call date with planting progress like this and the progress will be this value and it will be always zero except when this animation started to run also let's call this function on event blueprint update animation update planting progress so like this also in pouch component in update with planting progress we should we should not do it every time we should uh, update this value only if uh, planting actor exists so let's get converted to validate get and only if it is valid then we're doing this so now let's check it let's check it okay let's select pouch equip pouch and as we can see progress appeared and now without seat let's just hold nothing happens okay tomato seeds yeah nothing happens because in bp plant in progress i don't put this variable anywhere i'm changing it but nothing happens so let's make it more instance editable let's create a function set progress here we are getting a progress and set setting it and this progress will be a variable and now we need to get linear progress bar we need to get this this part and change it progress so we're getting linear progress bar set progress no maybe it also has a function update with progress but at first we need to set the progress of bb linear progress bar set progress and this one progress and call update like this now let's test it out oh and uh, we need to call a function where we are setting a progress i'm just setting it as variable and uh, what i want to do i want to call set progress function not set in a variable and the progress will be get progress now let's check it again selecting seats selecting pouch selecting pouch and and nothing happens why nothing happens uh, let's open uh it will be plant in progress let me set progress of 0, 05 should look like this and how does the function date with progress in my linear progress bar slot as overlay okay should work but doesn't 
maybe something works wrong let's print which what is the progress of uh, did, I, did I call this function here oh I don't need to call it anywhere okay collecting a pouch it doesn't print anything so the problem is this is not called maybe let's print it also print progress yes it is not called so update lines in progress we're getting chirper pouch component so progress so progress am i correct with naming so progress latest plant in progress oh a plant is not valid by the way so i've added it to this check and that's why progress not updating let's so we need we have to select a seed so let's select it tomato seed and here is how it looks like and maybe maybe uh, we need to decrease a speed of an animation or also i want to make some changes with this progress bar i will place it somewhere else but that's how it works it's already a ux issue a ux problem so thanks for watching hope to help someone